Hello, hello friends. It is Monday. Happy Easter Monday. It is also five journals on a journey day, the first of the month. So we are sharing our junk journals that we've created. Five journaling friends who have created journals and we are sending our journals along on a journey throughout the United States to each other's homes and then working on them and then sending them off to the next person on the list, which has been super fun. So do you know whose journal I have with me now? Do you recognize this little cutie patootie journal? Can you believe this thing? Look at the feet on the bottom of it. <laughs> it's it's one thing to see it on camera. It's a whole other barrel of, what do they say? Barrel of monkeys. It's a whole other thing to hold this thing in your hands. And just, it's so phenomenal, you guys. I wish we could send it on a journey. <laughs> a journey so that you could all see it and, and hold this journal. It is fantastic. Um, so tell me in the comments if you know whose journal this is. It's my turn to work in this journal. And I'm not going to show a lot because I know the ladies who are participating in the Journals on a Journey don't, some of them don't want to see everything that's going on in their books. Um, but I just want to open it up so you can see like that there are three signatures already in there. We can like, I can't believe this. There are three signatures already in there. So today we'll add another one or get another one ready. And then it'll have one more round. We'll send it off again in the middle of this month. We'll send it off to the next person. That person will add another signature and then it's going to go back to the owner, to the original owner. So she can just ooh and ah over her book and, and finalize everything. So um, if you are new to this, let me know. I will do more explaining, but some of you may already know what's going on. If you do, let me know who you are, where you're coming in from. Have you seen this journal before? Do you know who it belongs to? I'm going to check the comments here. Let me see if I can grab these comments so that I can chit chat with you while we do this. All right, let's see. Hey, there's Michelle. Hello, Michelle. She says, I'm just popping in to say hi. I want to be surprised. I am going to have fun. I'm going to have so much fun putting these pages together for you. Um, whose journal do I have? Who is it? Uh, Monica, I know. Isn't it the coolest thing? She said, this is just the coolest thing. I love it. <laughs> I do too. I do too. Hey, Joy Meyer. Hello, Miss Subscriber. Thanks for being a subscriber. She's got a little teal heart next to her name. So all of you little subscribers out there, thank you for supporting my page. I appreciate you all so much. All of my Craft Therapy Club members, hey ho, if you're in the house, let me know. There's Diana Barker, another teal heart showing up. Hey, Marsha, how are you, friend? Welcome, welcome. All right, so I just, I'm going to hold this up close because this is a whole new level. <laughs> this is a whole new, new level. This little metal piece is on both sides. She install that little metal, I don't know, it almost looks like a drawer, like a tiny little drawer pull, but it's on both sides, okay? It's an old doctor's bag, so it's got the handle, it has the original zipper, you know, and it actually, I can take this apart because, not take it apart, but her signatures are going to get glued in in the end, it's a, it's, that's called a hidden binding, um, but I, that means I can show you, hold this up and show you, like there's the zipper, the original zipper to the bag, the original handle, which is all worn. It's all tattered and worn, which is fabulous. And, you know, you would think that an old medical bag, an old doctor's bag would be just gnarly and very masculine. But Michelle did such a good job making it feminine. I mean, look at the way she's attached the lace to hold everything together. And then, you know, she has these metal poles, but then on this side, she added a little, it's um, like a little tassel, a little dangle, and it has the little lock for the bag on the tassel. So she, she managed to, of course, make this so beautiful and so dainty and so pretty. It's going to be the loveliest journal. I'm really excited for her to have this journal. Um, so here are her signatures. If you've never seen this before, this is one technique or one way that you create a book where instead of attaching your pages directly to the binding, you attach them to like a second substrate or second surface. This she used a, car, a piece of cardboard. And then what we'll do is we all attach the pages. They're all sewn in with string. 
the pages are sewn in with string. Each one of these is called a signature. So there's one, two, three signatures in there now. I'm going to add another one and then there'll be room for one last person to add a signature. All a signature is is a grouping of pages. So there are three groupings of pages in here now and look at how full it is already, you guys. Like, I don't know that there's much more room. Like how... <laughs> I wonder if it's like this for all the books. I was like, girls, you didn't leave, you didn't leave a whole lot of room here. Look at, it is plum full. And let me, I'm going to point something out to you. This must be Michelle's signature, this one right here. And what Michelle put in her book, her pages are not decorated yet. So you can see how thin they are. That is one signature of five pages. And then... Here's the second signature. I think this one has either seven or nine. I counted them, but I can't remember exactly. This one either has seven or nine pages, but look at how thick it is because it's been decorated. It gets all chunky and it's got stuff hanging off of it and all that. Like, look at dangles hanging off these pages. It's just the funnest thing. And then here's the third signature, which again, it's this one's starting to bend because as it sits in the book, it's like curling over the signature, the second signature. So these books take on a life of their own. They will tell their own story. And what a precious story that these books are going to be traveling to five different states in the United States, five different homes of our creative friends, and we're all adding things to them. So I like to count the number of pages. You know, I wanted to know what did Michelle start with? Michelle started with five. This is five pieces of coffee stained paper that she put in her book. her book, you know, these are not decorated yet. And then the other girls added their signatures. Um, so I'm going to go with, I, I think I'm going to go with seven or eight. Let's figure it out. We'll figure it out together. I'm going to put this aside. It is so gorgeous. I could talk on this for a while longer, but we better get to the signature part. And I want to check out the comments and see who's here and say hello to you all. So let me, let me just take a chance to do that too. Take a minute. Christine says, it's a wonderful thing you guys are doing. Isn't that the funnest thing? We are going to do this in the Craft Therapy Club, we decided. Um, that is going to be happening. We do lots of activities like this, like fellowship, fun activities, club activities inside the club. And right now we have a um, craft box relay going on. So I don't want to have the craft box relay happening while we do a Journals on the Journey, but we will be doing this. Um, it might be next month. We need to have that craft box relay finish up and finish going around the country before we start something new. But we love to do activities like this, and it's just fun to belong, belong to a club that, that gives you the opportunity to do that. Um, I'm just honored. I feel so honored that Chris asked me to be part of this because it is incredibly special, Christina. It is incredibly special. Hi, Carmela. How are you? Missy's here. Hey, Missy. It is so fun to watch, isn't it? It's the best. Um, yes, she will glue it in. She will glue it in. It has, she, I didn't show you, but her signature has both the cardboard and fabric attached to it. She has a fabric swatch and that will all get glued down right into that spine. Yes, yes, Debbie, that's how she'll do it. I'm so glad you guys are having fun. It sounds like you're having as much fun watching us as we are doing it. Hey, Mary Lonovic, how are you, friend? Angela's here. Hey, Angela Breeze. Mary Harris is here. Oh, yay. That's so good. It's so good to see you all. Okay, so... I have gathered some pages and I'm gonna show you what I got. Like, we've gotta figure this out. The first signature there has five pages and honestly, there just does not seem to be a lot of room. See, one, one more person has to get this book. We have to put two more signatures in here. I, so I'm feeling a little bit of pressure to keep it pretty tight. <laughs> Squeeze it in, Grace. Squeeze that stuff in. Go, I mean, right? Like, it's kind of like my pants. We got we to gotta squeeze it all in there. This is going to be a little tight in there to fit all this stuff. Okay, but here we go. So I want to do something with North Dakota. I'm from North Dakota. Five friends, journals on a journey. So I, I don't know that everybody's doing this. I know that Cheryl's doing it. I think, I think that all of the girls are doing it, putting a little bit of the state their own state in their signature in each book. But I have this um, state park, I think it's the state parks, Parks and Recreation State Park Guide from last year, from last summer. 
for the state of North Dakota. And I was flipping through it and I found this map, which I love. And I can't just tear it out. Well, I could, but it's two different pages. Um, it, it's, it, I know it's one right after the other, but like, you know, just like a book, how a book is created. They're actually two separate pages. Then I'd have to glue them together. Plus they're shiny and I don't want something shiny necessarily in this book. I'm thinking for this signature. So what I did was I photocopied it in black and white on a piece of coffee stained paper because she has her whole signature that she put in her own book is coffee stained pages. pages. So this state map is going to go in there just like this. <clears throat> I may have this be the center of the signature because, you know, the center of the signature is the where, you know, I, if I opened this up, you'd get to see both phasing pages. All the other ones, you only get to see half of a page at a time. Okay. So anyway, we have that. I have this. What was I going to do with this? Okay. So this is a piece of um, decorative scrapbook paper that it was a 12 by 12 piece of decorative scrapbook paper that I stained and colored on because I don't like my pages when I use decorative scrapbook paper if it's not double sided already if it doesn't have decoration graphics on both sides I always do something so I'm going to paint it I'm going to stencil on it so this one has some sprayed inks on it um, and I, I think I used my china marker on there. So you see some white scribbling. So I'm going to use this because I absolutely love this. And I think it matches her, her, her book a lot. And I'm going to use this extra piece from the 12 by 12 piece. We're going to make some pockets with that, I think. We're going to do something creative with that. So I'm going to show you everything that we got. And then we're going to start working on these. This is just a piece of paper from, this is the freebie um, digital download that I gave my club back in November when we made a gratitude journal. This is called Grunge and Lace. You can actually buy, it's a set of 13 pages, double, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper that you can print out. You can double side them if you want, but it's grungy and lace. I love that style. I love grunge, but I love things to be feminine. So we're gonna, she's going to get one of those. And this is on resume paper. So it's that like super crunchy, thin textured resume paper. Okay, these are going to make a page. I have two separate book pages here, but this one has a quote on it that I think is so cool. So we're going to make those into a page for this. I have this glassine bag. Oh, this is, we're going to start with this one because I think this is going to be really cool. So we're going to do something with that glassine bag. And then I have a couple of leftover pages from some digital download kits that I purchased in the past. And we're going to do something with those. Okay, so I have just a couple more pages. So let's start with the glassine bag. This is going to be one of the pages in the signature. It is a bag, but when we fold it in half and we sew, this is going to be closed and this one will be open unless you decide to cut, which I might do. But first what I'm going to do is I have these two double-sided pieces of, these are just left over from a project that I had done. And I'm going to cut these to size for in here. We're going to cut them down so that I can fit them inside the glassine bag. That will make the glassine bag showcase the papers because you'll be able to see right through them. And it's going to stiffen up that bag. So the bag's going to have a little more um, sturdiness to it for when you're flipping the pages. It'll be more sturdy. So hang tight. Watch what I got planned here. So I need a ruler, though. I need a ruler. And I'm going to measure... I don't want this to extend beyond the pocket as, you know, this back piece is taller than the front piece. And I don't want it to extend. It, there's no right or wrong. If you want it to extend longer, you can make yours longer when you're using a bag like this or an envelope like this. Um, I'm just deciding not to. So this is going to be, I need it to be four and a half inches by, four and a half by eight is a piece of paper. One of these pieces of paper need to be four and a half by eight. So let's get that cut down. And you guys let me know. We're going to go this way. What am I doing? I'm going to go this way. Four and a half by eight. Let me know who's here. Is it your supper time? Or my family's making grilled cheese sandwiches right now because I'm with you. I, this is our supper time, so I would normally be cooking and eating with my family. But I'm hanging out with you, so they are they're fending for themselves. They literally just got home like an hour ago from... My family went on, my boys went on a four-wheeling trip for the weekend, for Easter weekend. They went to South Dakota and they just got back. So they've been gone since Thursday. So I'm super excited to catch up with them from being gone. 
Hello, Maureen. It's good to see you too. Hello, Janet. That's why you wear leggings. Girl, I live in leggings. Leggings all day, friend. Me and me and you, Janet. <laughs> I made your night, Robin. Was it the pants comment? <laughs> uh -huh. And don't, Debbie says um, that Michelle loves a chunky journal, so fill her up. We'll stuff it full. It's going to be so stuffed. All right. It's going to be so stuffed like I was after dinner. Well, actually... I won't say Easter dinner because, you know, I'm on this special elimination diet right now. So not eating a whole lot right now. But normally for a holiday dinner, I'd be super stuffed, right? Okay, that's going to fit in there perfectly. So see what it's going to do? It's just going to make, you're going to be able to see that through the paper. It's going to make this, the card, this is double-sided cardstock, so it's stiffer. Now this side, I think I need to make it a little wider. Still going to be eight inches tall, but I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be, I don't know, the mark right under five inches. That's how I measure. I don't know what that fraction is. Just under five inches. The other one was four and a half. This one's gonna be just under five. And it's just gonna be pretty decorative floral paper to put in there. It's gonna give it some, some strength and stiffness so you can turn the pages more easily. And it's gonna be decorative. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna cut the other one. Should I cut it down? Should I open it up? So, okay, so now this one is going to go on the way bottom, and it actually will matter, like, what side. I don't know what this is going to be paired up with. I might pair, I forgot to show you this. I have this, like, triple tag, and I might pair this up with this, like, put this in here with this. So, I do want this green side showing. Okay. Okay. I had just had to think that through for a minute. All right, I'm gonna stuff this in there. It's gonna go all the way to the bottom. There's that side. And then this one is just gonna sit on this side. That's gonna give it some more sturdiness. And do I want to cut a pocket is the question. So I have, we'll have this pocket here that you could stuff something in and you can take this in and out. Should I make another pocket, I would do it up here. I would cut the top of this off. And then you could pull that out from the top. I think I will. Let's do it. I'm just going to cut it with. You could be all precise. <laughs> you could be precise and use a ruler or a cutting mat, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut it like this. I'm just going to use my old-fashioned scissors, girls. We can just use scissors. We don't have to have all the fancy cutters. I am gonna go almost to the fold, but not quite. And we're gonna snip that little, little tiny piece off. So now that this can come out and she could put things in there with that. So it becomes a little pocket, okay? So we got that. That's done, that page is done. This, I think I wanna pair this up with this. Um, we'll just see. We'll just see when we, when we get it all together. This, I'm not going to do anything to this right now. I might decorate it once the book is all put together or the signature is all put together. But for now, I'm not going to alter this at all. So these two pages are ready to go. Okay. I'll set this aside so we can look at what we got next. There's something, there's a little adjustment to do to almost every single one of these pages. Hey, Virginia. How are you, Ginny? It's good to see you. Hey, Ruth. Just lob it off. Yeah, Lori, that's what we do. We just lob it off. We're not worried about being too precise. This one, no altering here. This is just a bit, although I, I was thinking maybe I would, um, okay, it's interesting because there were three signatures in there. The first signature M Michelle put in, I know that that was Michelle's signature, and her pages are square. Like she did not do anything to the corners. The next signature has fancy corners. They're all cut. And then the next one, they're not. So I ha I could, you know, either way, if I stick with square or if I cut them down and round them or do something decorative, either way, it's going to fit because there's a little bit of everything happening in that book. So I'm going to leave this for now. We may, we may end up, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to end up doing something to those corners. Um, you guys, I put the heat on in the room next to me and now it's like blazing hot in here. So I might have to jump up and shut that heat off. If a family member came in, I could I could command one of them to do it. Where's my concierge? Shut off that heat. 
Where's my concierge that I need? He's not here. Hold on. I'm going to go shut it off. I may have to just take my sweater off, too. Yeah, I'm losing the sweater, girls. It's got to go. Mama's working up a sweat here. She's working up a sweat on this on this project. I'm so excited. Okay, this one's done. All we had to do was fold, and I probably will do something to the corners. I won't decide that until I know. I like to kind of decide that once I decide, um, yeah, my concierge. Clap, clap. Like, where is he? Right? Doesn't everybody need a craft room concierge? That's what I call my imaginary fantasy hunk of a man who comes and brings me the drinks I want, gets things off the shelf up there that I can't reach and I have to get a step stool for, cleans up my mess when I'm done creating. I have this fantasy. I haven't talked about them in a while, but the craft room concierge. Who wants a craft room concierge? It should be a thing. It should be a thing. Well, we're voting. When voting comes, I would vote for that. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be a little challenging. Let's just get it out of the way, huh? Okay, here's what we got. We got two separate book pages. This one is considerably thicker than this. This is dictionary paper, but they're almost the same size. And I thought it'd be kind of cute. I know, right? I see all the thumbs up. I see all the thumbs up. Everybody wants a craft room concierge. Get in line, girlfriend. Get in line. We all want one. Fine words, butter, no parsnips. It's a Danish proverb. I don't know why. If anybody understands, you can let us know about the tea in China. Anyway, both of these pieces of paper have one straight edge and one crooked edge. So I'm gonna put the two straight edges together. I actually wanna go this way, I decided. Yes, I think I wanna go this way and I'm gonna tape them together. We're gonna to connect these. So I was thinking through, you know, I, I usually use washi tape. Washi tape is a great idea. You can use washi tape. You can use regular tape. You can use, a neutral tape, like this is um, craft tape. It's really wide, so I, that's too wide. I think it's too wide. I don't necessarily want it to be this wide. I may put a decorative tape over this, but here's what I did. I went and grabbed, I have art tape. This is art tape. It's called artist tape. It literally is called pro artist tape. I think it's one inch wide. Let's see, is it three quarters? It's three quarters wide. It is a lot like masking tape, but it's smooth. All the masking tape I have ever worked with it has like a stippling to it almost. It has like a little bit of a texture. This is completely smooth and it is repositionable. So we're gonna have to add some glue to the back of it, but it has a matte paper and it's white. So what I decided to do was I tested this earlier. I put it down on a piece. This was, I was throwing this little piece of paper out anyway. So I put it down on here and I used my little handy inker and I made it kind of look, you know, old and distressed, this art tape. You know, I see people, I even have, I have a collection of regular tape this kind of regular old satin tape or invisible tape that you can you can dye it with alcohol inks to make it look like old tape. I have a piece right here actually on my computer. <laughs> but this is a bit of work. There's a piece of it. You use alcohol inks and you spread it on there and then it dyes the tape so that it looks like it's old, old vintage antique tape, okay? I didn't want to do that because I was just like, it's going to take too long to show you how to do that. It takes a little while to dry it. You have to put on gloves. It's real messy. This was easy, girls. All I did was like any other piece of paper is I put some ink on my little thing and I'm going to rub it over all this thing and I'm going to have tape that gets all vintage. So I have another piece of tape. I have two pieces of tape here. I know it's hard to see that one. I have one that I've already dyed or inked, and I'm gonna do this second one. I know it's hard for you to see it there, but you'll see it as I'm working on it. I'm just gonna muck it up. I call it mucking it up. We're distressing it, we're making it look dirty and disheveled and like it's been here for a while, okay? Um, and in fact, I could do something even more decorative. Could I, could I? Yes, you could if you can find, if I can find my, um, oh, Gracie, are they close by my stencils? I could stencil something on there. I don't know if they're, are they close by? 
I thought I had them out, but apparently not. Stinkers. You could use a stencil and we could do something even more decorative, but let's see. I, you know, I have, I, I need to glue them together so that what's going to end up happening is we're going to be poking holes in, in the tape to hold these two pieces together. So it needs to be really sturdy. So I thought I'd add this and then I may add bits of decorative tape or something else over it as well. And I'm going to put it on both the front and the back because I really need it to be sturdy so that it holds together well in her book. Yeah, it's a cool idea, right? So try masking tape. I honestly, this is pro art tape that I bought online and it, it probably is more, it has more of the properties, I think, of being repositionable because I'm able to pull it off of this paper. This is just cardstock paper and I'm able to pull it off of this and it's not taking any of the paper up. It's not losing its stickiness, but that also means if it's repositionable, it's not permanent. So for this, I need it to be permanent. So we'll be adding glue, but at least you, if you used masking tape, you could probably do the same thing with masking tape. I would put it on wax paper or something shiny um, like a cellophane bag, something that you bought that came in a cellophane bag, put it on that or one of your craft mats if you're using masking tape. Otherwise, I think it would tear if you put it on a piece of paper. I, I put it on paper because I know this is repositionable like washi tape, which means I can pull it up and put it back down and nothing's gonna, it's, nothing's gonna go wrong with it. All right, I am gonna add some glue to this because I need it to stick really well. A pool boy. Uh, uh, Regina saying she, she I want to oh, somebody said I want a pool boy no that wasn't Regina who said that who said it oh Sherry said I want a pool boy my hubby said we don't have a pool it's a craft room con call it call your friend a craft room concierge right that's what I call him. it's just helping me it's like it's like providing services in my craft space like things, what do I need? What are the services? I want a cup of tea. Could you go give me a cup of tea so I don't have to stop what I'm doing? Could you go um, grab the mail, see if I have any happy mail to open? <laughs> could you go, could you organize all those stickers over there and make sure that they're all categorized by color? Like, heck, I have a lot of things I could put this person to use for. And listen, it doesn't have to be a man, but wouldn't it be nice if he was a hunky man, hunky young guy who is strong and agile and could pick up all my boxes and reach up on shelves and put things away for me? It's just a dream, girls. It's just a dream. It's a dream, but I'll let you in on it. Okay, I'm going to do this. We're going to do on one side first, and then I'm going to put the other one down because I want to make sure I'm straight, and I, I do kind of want it to appear as though they're touching. So I, I got to concentrate now. I'm, I'm focusing, girls. Focusing on trying to get that straight. Did I get it straight? Does it look straight? It's kind of what we're going for. And when I fold it, what's that going to do? What's that going to look like? It folds real nicely because this page, like I said, this the black sheet is thicker than the, um, the other sheet. So it folded really nice, like right in half on that tape. Okay, let's put another piece. So that's what it looks like. You could go thicker if you wanted it to be, oh, this isn't, this isn't a dictionary page. It's a Bible page. It must have fallen out of a, a Bible that I had. It's Genesis. Um, you could put decorative tape over even this if you wanted to, but I kind of like the idea of having this tape that looks vintage and old. If it, if it feels like it's holding up well, maybe, I don't know. I haven't decided whether I'm going to add anything else to it. I need more glue though, I know that much. I'm running it over my permanent glue stick, which holds extremely well. Never had trouble with anything coming apart with that thing. All right, now don't stick to yourself, my friend. Come on. Oh. Well, we're just gonna do the best we can here. I must have missed this little, this little part just doesn't wanna stick down. So already my son, my one son, has discovered that he left something behind in South Dakota. So they're trying to call the place where they stayed. You know, oh, do you see this thing? Did it, like, was it, 
kid, teenagers, right? Did he leave it on a hook in the room? Did he did he kick it under a bed? I don't know. I, we're, we're, we're good. We got to do a little exploring there. All right, now it's even thicker. I need my something to help me fold this. It's even thicker because we have the two pieces of tape. So we got to use something like a bone folder. Or just I just use this flat thing sometimes. You could use a ruler, like that's a wooden ruler would do it for you. Just something that helps you establish that fold. Okay, that page is pretty much done. I may end up decorating that more, but I, I want to get all the pages figured and then decide what order they're going in. And then it will help me decide whether I want to do more decorating on those pages. I think I may do some stamping on that on this um, Bible page. I think it would be really pretty to do some stamping and maybe watercoloring. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, this one is staying just the way it is so I don't have to do anything there. But this one, this one, this one, I thought I would do a couple of pockets with this one. Concierge would be great, Leslie says. He could be a wannabe pool boy guy wearing a swimsuit and nice tan. Oh my word, Leslie, settle down. <laughs> You're hilarious. I'm not worried, Leslie. Settle down. You're letting your mind wander. It's called a fantasy. It's a dream. We can dream, girl. We can dream. That's what Cheryl just said. Dream on, girl. Like, let's just dream about it. Right? Wouldn't it be nice? No, but seriously, beyond the handsomeness and the hunkiness and the shorts that you're imagining he's got on, it would just be super nice to have the help. Right? Can you go get me a sweater? I'm cold. Can you, go, can you go make me a sandwich? I'm hungry. You would never have to leave your spot. You could just keep creating. Now, I was originally thinking a side pocket. Okay, here's what I was originally actually thinking. This is a photo from an elementary school, second grade class at the Belmont School in 1921 in Grand Forks, North Dakota. So this is another bit of North Dakota in her book. Um, and I know how much... Michelle's business page is called The Vintage Daisy. I know how much she loves vintage and old things. And this is just the most darling photograph of kids. Second graders at this school. It was in one of the books that I had, so I photocopied it. And I was going to glue it down here so that it was in the middle of this page. But I can't get over the fact that you would only see half of the kids at a time. Right? Like if... If this is glued down and then I put this on top of it, you're only gonna see, I don't know, you're only gonna see half of the kids at a time if I do that. So then I was thinking if I made a little pocket for it, I could fold it up and stuff it in a pocket. And then she would still get the photo. It's still something from North Dakota. No, I don't know. That actually does look kind of cute. It's a school life on it. So see if these pages were together in the signature and you opened this up and this was glued down, you'd get half of the second grade class here. And then eventually when you're flipping pages, you would see the other half here. That's what I was saying about pages being separated in the book. I wanted this, where's my uh, North Dakota map? That's the one I wanted. Where are you map? Here you are to be in the center. What do you guys think? Should I glue it down or should I fold it up and stuff it in a pocket? I'm having trouble deciding. You think it would be nicest in the center, Janet? Janet votes for the center. It's not gonna be the center page because I want my map to be in the center. I want you to see the whole North Dakota map when you open the center of the signature. And there's only one spot. There's only, that's like prime time retail or uh, uh, what do you call it? Prime time, like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like that, that's prime time space. I don't know, girls. Why am I having trouble deciding? That was my original plan, was to glue it down inside this page. I could still do something with this. Just because I don't make it a pocket doesn't mean it can't be on the page. Real estate, that's the word, Mary. I knew it began with an R, but I couldn't think of the word. Primetime real estate, yes! 
Do you love this idea? I know, Becky, isn't it so fun? It's so fun. Well, we, we are definitely going to be doing this in the Craft Therapy Club. So if you're not in the club and you want to be, go to crafttherapyclub.com and then to the wait list because we are definitely going to do this activity. One of the girls actually asked me the first month that we did Journals on a Journey, She, one of the members of the club was like, can we please do this in the club? And I was like, yes, there's no reason why we can't do Journals on a Journey in the club. So if you're not in the club and you want to join us, I just invited a group in. We just had eight or nine new members join a couple of weeks ago. Um, Lori is one of them. We had eight or nine, and Callie is here. She joined us. Um, so, and what I did was I just sent a private invitation to the wait list. That's, that's how I let a few, people's in, a few people in a few weeks ago. So if you want to get in, I don't have a plan yet or a date yet for when I will just invite everybody from the public eye, like from the public, but the wait list people always know that it's open and they'll always get an invite. A flip out, you think as a flip out? I thought of that too, like I could glue it down and fold it. So say I did that. I could glue this whole side down and then it be, oh, we could do that. All right, let's do that. Good idea, ladies. I'm gonna fold it in half, nice big crease. And then we're gonna glue it down to this page on the inside here. That's gonna look awfully plain though. So that you flip it and open it that way. I gotta do something here, cause that will drive me bananas. I can't stand a blank white page. It drives, it drives me bonky girls. That's why I put, I should have, I should have copied it onto, um, what do you call it? Coffee stain paper is great for that. Okay, I have a map of North Dakota here, and let's just see if there's anything in here that's about that size. We're looking at, yeah, almost four and a half by, it's not quite eight, because I cut this down quite a bit. It's less than seven. So I'm looking, you know how like inside they have all these photos of things throughout the state, usually like there's bike riding, there's rodeo, um, there's theater rumors about National Park, like, you know, so some of these, if that's about, oh, I could, I could glue that down. I got my bison there. There's a big bison, a motorcyclist, a rodeo. There's a rodeo in town. Let's see. And then here on the back is the map part of it. But this part has like all the great photos. Valley City, Mandan, West Fargo, Jamestown, Wapakoneta. Who's from North Dakota out there? <laughs> you guys know the names of these towns. I actually think I could get this. It's just about the same size. It's just about the same size if I cut that out. Not quite, but just about. It's about a half inch smaller. There's some people kayaking in the front. Hmm, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? Let's see. Generally, when I'm trying to fill spaces, I like to use something that's already in the signature, right? So this is the leftover piece of paper from this, this scrapbook paper that I used. Um, this is just a little bit too small, so let's just see if I can piece something together. I have some other scraps here. No, these are all too small. I'm just digging, girls. I'm digging. Here's that book from North Dakota. Let's just see. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous view right there. I could do this. This will fit. This is going to fit. I could glue this down. Let's see if there's another page in here that would fit. Oh my gosh. This one's gorgeous too. This, we've been to this park. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. We've been to both of these parks. All right, I would be able to cut this down. 
I'm going to use this as a, like a template and cut this down. I was being so lazy today, girls, of what I did earlier. I couldn't find my little cutting board. So I was just grabbing like an old book and using it as a cutting board because I could not find the, sm the small one that I have. I have a bigger one, but my table's too full. I can't even fit it right now. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to like, I'm eyeballing it like this is what I'm going to cover. And so I'm eyeballing it on here, trying to get it just like, just about centered, just about. And then I'm going to use this as my template to cut down that piece, the decorative piece that I want. I feel better using my clear ruler because I can see through it and see that I'm not cutting my paper. And I'm just going to use a knife and we're going to cut this down. And if you have old catalogs, this is a really good way. If you don't have a cutting board, you can still get your cuts done without needing. You just like pull, once these get shredded enough, you can pull them up and throw them out. I don't want it slightly bigger. It would be good if it were slightly, if anything, slightly smaller in this, in this scenario. Because I don't want it hanging over this page. I want it to cover the page. Off these edges, I'm just going to turn this whole book. Oh, did I budge it? I did. I budged it. I better fix it. Nothing makes me happier than true. This is true junk journaling to me, right? Like this is an old state park book from last year. So they update these every year, you know, and then they put them at the at the stop, um, the rest areas on the highway. For, for tourists to pick up. And then it has all the dates of all the different activities that are going on, the prices of all the different state parks, the RVs, the cabins. Uh, it has the map. That's the map that I copied from Michelle's book. And then it has just facts, like, did you know? Facts about the state. These are fabulous books to have. And I love using them this way because it would have gone, gone in the garbage otherwise because it's outdated now, but I don't have to throw it in the garbage. I'm gonna use it and we're gonna cover the back side of this photo. I'm gonna just glue this down here and it's gonna make the prettiest cover for that. Pretty, pretty, I say, I say. I think, what glue do I wanna use, girls? I'm gonna use, this actually worked for me earlier and didn't, was not clogged, if you can believe it or not. That would be another thing the concierge could do. Could you unclog clog this glue bottle for the 12th time today? Capri says, I also love true junk journaling. Does it not make you the happiest, Capri? Like. Like literally taking stuff that would have gotten thrown out otherwise and <laughs> it's clogged. I used it earlier and I'm like, for the first time ever, it wasn't clogged. And now, figures, because I'm live, it be clogged again. Let's see if I can unclog it with my little, my all. I know, who else is a huge fan of using stuff that would, man, tell me some of the stuff that you use. I've compiled a list that I'm gonna use as, I'm gonna create it and make a PDF for you guys. A list of things that would, that's true ephemera. That is the definition of ephemera. When people say ephemera, that is not, I know, even they, they sell things at the store that it says ephemera pack. That's not an ephemera pack. It's like a made up ephemera pack. True ephemera is stuff that would have gotten thrown out. The school programs, you know, at your kids or your grandkids, like recital program or their, their, um, you know, school play program that you would have just thrown it out, but I don't throw it out. I keep all that stuff. And I like to use it in my journals because it's just fabulous, right? To be able to use that. So it makes my little recycling heart happy and it makes my junk journaling heart happy when I can see in my books that I have stuff from my past. It's like little keepsakes. Capri says I'm becoming obsessed with candy wrappers. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty, right, Capri? They're just so pretty. They're bright and beautiful. They do that for a reason because they want you to be enticed by the packaging. It's a very, very um, important part of marketing, the world of marketing and distribution is the packaging. So they put a lot of effort and a lot of research into those packages. So I'm glad you're obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with them too. I have a whole box of them over there different packages uh, or candy wrappers that I, and food, food storage, 
containers that I can use in my junk journals. I'm a huge fan of it, using stuff that you already have sitting around. All right, come on. While it's still, while it's not completely set, the glue, you can usually get this to straighten out and fly right, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> we need it to straighten out and fly right. I did put it on straight the first time. Too much talking, Grace. All right, hold on, girls. I gotta focus. I gotta focus here. I may have to stand up because I'm too short to see what I'm doing otherwise. Come on, Gracie Gru. You can do this. Let's try again. Now my glue's probably dry by this point. Focus. Think. Focus. I'm going to try to get it lined up and then I'm probably going to have to add more glue. And if you're looking at the top of my head, I'm sorry. I know that's not ideal for you. All right. I better add more glue. I've got it lined up right. But now I think my glue's dry, so I better add just a tish more, as they say. My, my uh, quilting instructor used to say, she's just going to do it a tish. Just do it a tish. Uh-oh, I hope this has happened before to me in my junky junk journal. When I've used my thermal printer, sometimes the craft glues leave marks. So I don't know what kind of print job this is, but we're going to see what that does to that page. All right, let's get the other one cut down. Here's the other one. Here it is. Lake Metagoshi on one side, Turtle River on the other. You know what, maybe what I could do is glue it down and cut it. That would be smarter, right? If I glued it down and then cut it. I don't like the way this glue looked on there. So let's try a different glue. I'll use my glue stick, my handy, trusty old glue stick. I'm thankful I had a little bit of a supply of these because they've been sold out and I haven't been able to get them. I had to buy a different type of glue stick, but this is my favorite one. So I'm like, dang, I don't wanna, I don't wanna use a different kind of glue stick. I wanna use this one, but they're kind of sold out lately. That's how good they are. Okay, we're gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna stick it down. This is what I should have done on the other side. And now I'm gonna cut like I have all the excess, I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors. Very smart, right? You could use a cutter, but we're just gonna use the scissors because there's something satisfying about that. <laughs> all right, now this is thicker. This is what happens in your books, right? You don't mean to do it, but you keep adding stuff to the pages, adding decorative elements and embellishments and this and that and bits and bobs and all the things. And then before you know it, it's a thick old, it's a thicky Mickey, as I call it. We've got a thicky Mickey on our hands. I have a feeling, I got a feeling. Do, do. You know that song, you guys? <laughs> Black Eyed Peas. Oh my gosh, I got a feeling. It just, it comes up in my head and then I'm, I'm starting, I'm going to start jamming here. Um, that's the other thing that the guy could do for me. Get my music going while I'm sitting here crafting. I have a little old bridge here we're going to. I'm gonna lob that off too. Yeah, this book is gonna be a thicky Mickey. I have a feeling that when Michelle gets her book, she's gonna be like, whoa, you girls really stuffed this one. But as uh, somebody said earlier, Michelle likes a thick, thick and chunky book. Like her maybe like thick and chunky salsa. She likes a thick and chunky book. Darla, yesterday and today have been pretty good days. I felt pretty good yesterday and today. Um like last night, right before I went to bed, I was like, I gotta go to bed because I wasn't, it was starting to come on. But thank you for asking. I, I won't, I won't, I don't need to go in and on all that, but thank you for asking. You're sweet to ask. Um, Jamie, it is the Scotch, it's called the Scotch Create Permanent Glue Stick. They changed the um, packaging on it recently. It's called the Scotch Create. It's by 3M Permanent Glue Stick. There you go, you can take a little snapshot. Okay, got this one done. This is going to be here. Actually, <laughs> this could be its own little page, girls, at this rate, because look at how pretty it is. We got Turtle River on one side, Lake, Lake Matagoshi on the other, and then the kids on the inside, and this is all North Dakota stuff. That is so fun. I have for each one of them, I have a postcard, a North Dakota postcard that I'm putting in their books, and I've been doing it as a flap, and then writing a note 
on the flap. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attach that to this yet until I figure out what exactly I'm doing. So let's let's just see what we have here. I can definitely do some pockets here. I meant to do some pockets on the inside of this, and then I got all distracted with the photo. I think for these pockets, I'm gonna go rather rugged. You'll see what I mean. Just watch me. As that one girl used to say. I, I have like, I always have to, I don't know why my mind works that way. I say something and it brings me to a movie line or a song or like a lyric or like a uh, an advertising jingle. Do you guys do that to yourself where you're like constantly quoting things? <laughs> I think it's a problem I got. I think it's a problem. They had a great time on their trip, Becky. They had a great time. And it was the first, I think I can just tear this instead of using scissors. Yeah, I knew that was going to tear easily. It was the first trip that my husband took my two kids on by themselves. It was the first trip. They stayed in an extremely rustic old cabin. 135-year-old, um, it's a logging village that has, you know, they, they take on like campers and, but they have these logging cabins and that's what they stayed in. So I'm making a couple of little tuck pockets and I want them to match. So here's what I do as I tear a corner of this piece, the piece is cut to length. I tear a corner off and put it there and then I'm going to tear a piece off and put it here. And that way they're like, I have two matching kind of little tuck spots on the opposite sides. And then this is the paper that's on the other side, so it's really matchy-matchy, which is nice. I don't like straight edges, though, so I am gonna tear this differently. Um, hey, Denise, how are you? Yeah, so they stayed at this really old um, logging cabin. Gannon was like, this is pretty much camping, Mom, in the winter. They had, there was no heat in the cabin, but they had like little um, space heaters in the cabin. There were two beds, so my two of the kids, the kids stayed in one bed. My husband had the other bed, a little bathroom and a little kitchenette, not even a full kitchen. So they cooked outside and they packed all their food because it was like in the middle of nowhere. So they had a great time though. Thank you for asking. They did. They had a great time. They just got home like, you know, an hour and a half or so ago. So they're making something to eat and they were, they were trying to fill me in. I'm like, I gotta go live, but I'll, I'll, I'll I gotta catch up with them when I'm done here. We're going to catch up. Now I may add some stitches to these. I may add some stitch lines on here. Um, we'll see, we shall see. Let's get it like the, the base of this put together and then we'll be able to do more. Every month during the Journals on a Journey, so far every month, we have done a second live event. So we do the first one on the first when we've got the books and we start putting together the signatures and then we've been doing a second one mid-month where we come back in and we finalize our signatures. So we finish decorating and putting all the finishing touches on. Now look, you guys, now we have two little tuck spots. So what I normally do when I'm creating books, here's the page. When I have leftover pieces, when I'm creating a junk journal, I do stick them in these little tuck spots because they match the other parts of the book. And I just think it's nice to have the leftovers in your book. That way, if you want to make a tag or you want to, you know, make a journal card or something, you have the extra bits that already match your book. So I'm going to stuff these in here so I don't forget. So those will be on the facing pages there. So I, we better count how many pages we have. How much I have six minutes. We can figure this part out now. And then I'm going to sew this in. I was planning on sewing it on live with you guys, but I, I think I'm going to run out of time. Let's just see what we got. Okay. I'm going to put so I have decorative elements off to the side. This is considered a decorative element. It's not one of the pages of the signature. So I'm just gonna stick that off to the side for a minute. Let's get all the pages that are gonna make the signature and count them. I'm, I feel like a little bit of pressure not to make it too thick. I don't want these stuffed in too far because if this is still a little wet, I don't want them sticking to the glue. But we have this page. We have two, three, four. What is this one? This is the map five, six, seven, I have eight pages. Something might have to go because I also want to use this tag as a page. 
I, I checked it out. It's going to work. Watch this. Watch this. So here's, here's the, the signature pack. She did a three hole. So you can see one hole here, one hole in the middle, and one hole on the end, right? Three holes. One, two, three. That's really hard to do because everything's backwards to me. This, I need to make sure that the length of anything that I put in there as a page needs to be at least covered by two holes. It needs to have at least two holes in it. And this, I can get two holes in it, right? So this could be its own little page. And that was kind of my plan with this, is to make it like a little mini page that you can open up, which I think will be really cute. So let's figure out what we're gonna keep and if we're gonna get rid of anything. Yikes, I don't wanna get rid of anything. There is no way to do it all in one hour. I know, Capri. When I, does anybody buy um, junk journals from artists? I know some of you have purchased mine when I have my live auctions. Um, and I've gone on to Etsy. I don't have an Etsy store, but when, when I'm looking to purchase one, I will go to Etsy and look for a junk journal that someone else has created to have. I love them. Um, please don't ever don't ever forget how much time they take. So when somebody's asking for $90, $100 for their journal, it's not for the, it's not maybe the papers that are in it. Although sometimes you're getting absolute unique antique letters or postcards that, that, you know, there's only one of in the world. Um, so sometimes you are getting absolutely unique things in that book. Sometimes there's artistry from the artist in that book. Those are valuable in their own, but just the hours it takes to put these books together, it's totally worth a hundred bucks to buy somebody's book. Um, so don't keep it in mind because Capri, like you said, there's no way you could do all this in one hour for sure. Um, my son took his four girls to Rock City and Ruby Falls and Chattanooga, Tennessee once, and they had a blast. His wife stayed home, right? It's good. I think it was really good for them to have that time together. I'm going to fan these out because what I need to figure out is what do I want as the cover for my signature? So she, has, she hasn't decorated her pages yet, so I don't think that's a fair assessment of what the cover, the opening cover is. This one has a couple of dolls and a bike on it, and then the cover of this one has a doll on it and lots of florals and buttons. <laughs> I'm grunge and lace. I'm not that, I, I like girly, but I'm not that girly, so maybe this has to be my cover. That's probably the most girly thing that I have. Eek, it's not that girly. It's not as girly as the other girls are girly. Okay, we'll make this our cover. <laughs> we'll make this our cover. And then what will come next? Let's see. I like to do a good variety. This is going to go in the very middle, so we're not going to put that into last, the last page. I kind of like grunge and lace together, so let's do my grunge and lace page. And then... This one, this page is very busy, so it actually would be okay next to a page that is more simple. And in fact, I was thinking that this could get paired with that. Let's see. Okay, just flip it the other way if you're looking for something particular. Now, is that right side up? That is right side up. I like that together, yes. And then let's put put, hmm, maybe this one next. I, this might be too thick, ladies. It might just be too thicky-micky. Then this, and then I have the Turtle River. I don't want the Turtle River and the Glassine together because they're both shiny and they have a sheen. So they get, they, I don't want them next to each other. It's too much shine in one spot. Let's separate them. Let's put maybe this one here. So we don't have the shiny stuff right next to each other. And I do do the flip. I keep doing the flip until I'm happy, right? I keep flipping through to see. It's too thick. I think it's too thick. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. But now I have to find a home for, I have two more things. This, I want my map in the middle. So this definitely is going in the middle. This actually could go here with it because it's smaller so you would still be able to see the map in its entirety or i could put it in here which was my original plan to put it next to the glassine 
because I think that would be very pretty together. So see how if I sew this in, this trifold, if I sew it in here, this will show by itself here like a little tag sticking out. Turn the page, turn the page. Here's the other half of it, and this one is a fold out. Yes, I like it like that. I like it like that. Yep, I like it like that. This is what we're doing. Yep, yep. This is the only one that feels a little bit off to me, ironically. This one's throwing me off. I'm not so sure about this one. I really want the kids in there, but I don't know that that's the right place. Oh my gosh, it's my time is over anyway. I've got basically her whole signature done. I just have to find the placement of the little kids. Um, coming up next, do you want to go visit with Michelle at the Vintage Daisy? She is on right now. So Paige, hop on over, little bunnies, hop on over to the Vintage Daisy and go visit Michelle. I don't remember whose book she has, so I'll be hopping on over with you. Bye, Capri. Thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate you all so much. Please be sure to follow the page. Please hit the little like button on this video, even if you're catching the replay, because it helps us out so much. It's a great way to support us creatives. You guys have a beautiful, blessed night. I will catch you over at the Vintage Daisy.